Hey everyone, John Dran here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to save your scratch games or scratch animations as full on EXEs. This is not a feature that Scratch allows and it's something that has been greatly asked for. Um, also, so, so the only reason way you can play scratch games is if you have scratch or it's on the scratch website. So I'm going to show you how to make an EXE that can stand alone. Now you actually don't need scratch for that. What you're going to do is you're going to go and you have to have a Windows XP I think. You're going to go to Windows, Run, and you're going to type in I E X and then the word press. So it's like I express. And once you've typed that in and clicked OK, a uh, kind of a Windows 95 type little package or little window thingy should come up. You're going to click click create new self extraction directive file. You want it to do it all by itself. You want to leave that one OK. You want it to extract and run. And you can type in anything here. This is this is just what comes at the top of the box while it's unpacking. We don't want the viewer to actually see that happening. So you can pretty much type in anything you want here. It's not going to be seen anything anyway. So no prompt. And so that's why it's not going to be seen. And do not display license either. So now click add. And we're going to add everything that the scratch file needs to run. So you're going to go to local disk C, program files, and now here's where it gets a little tricky. You're going to go to scratch, and then you're going to click on the scratch exe and click open. Now you're going to add some other things that scratch needs to run. So the mp3 plugin and the scratch.image, the scratch plugin, and the Unicode plugin. And sorry if that was a little bit fast, but you just need to take those files. Now click add one more time and go to projects and then click on the game you want. Bomb save is the one I'm going to use because it's a smaller file and remember that if it has a space or not because you're going to need that. Now here's what it's going to install and it's going to install into itself not on their computer. So what you need to do is type in exactly what I do. Scratch.exe space quotes scratch.image quotes another space type in the word presentation so that your game opens up in presentation mode rather than um, the just the regular scratch screen space quotes yeah quotes and then the name of your scratch file so mine was bomb space s save dot sb and it has to be exact so once what you're gonna put whatever your project is in that space so once you've done that just to make sure it's scratch.exe quote space quotes scratch dot image quote space presentation space the name of your file leave that blank now leave that hidden because we don't want them to see it unpack itself and open so you're gonna click next no message and now you're going to save the exe I'm just gonna save it to my desktop so that I can show you and I'm gonna name it name it my game so then click save you want to hide the file extracting process animation and then you want to save the files using long names this it comes up and says don't do it with Windows 95 and so we don't have Windows 95 and on top of that scratch needs it to run now click no restart because this is not a type of thing where you need to restart click next don't save the file you don't need it it's just telling you that it worked and then click next this will open up and it will show you how much percentage it's done with each thing and it's basically packaging it all into one exe and letting you run everything from the same place without having to have scratch installed on the computer so it's going to do that for each of those and we'll let it finish um, it's pretty quick then it'll say congratulations done and you can click finish so now there it is my game exe right there and when you click on it it takes a minute to load and unfortunately you get the little scratch up for a second and then there it is if your game had a you know start menu that would appear 
but your game is now open in presentation mode. Unfortunately, it opens Scratch as well. So when you close it, then Scratch is visible. Um, if you don't want people to see your script, you'll have to use a different program. And now, if you don't like that little weird picture it has for the unpackaging wizard, what you should do is create a folder for it, and then another folder inside that, and put the exe in there. Then, make a shortcut to it, like this. New, shortcut. And then, save the shortcut to the game you just made, the mygame.exe. So we just click and then click OK. And now the shortcut's made. So once you have the shortcut there, you can name it whatever you want, it doesn't matter. And then go to Properties, Change Icon. Then you can go to System32 D DLL and change the icon. Or you can make your own icon, which I'm going to cover in my next tutorial. And once you've made your own icon, you can save it as that. And I do that all the time. So once you've created that shortcut, you can put that shortcut at the very opening of the file so the minute they open it like say from an email they'll see that click on it and it'll look more professional